All right, there's my new KX040 Kubota mini excavator and my rut manufacturing tree slayer. This is said to take down up to six inch trees. This video is gonna kind of be dedicated more so to the machine and the continuous auxiliary flow on this Kubota. So my machine has dual auxiliaries. So this smaller line goes to the thumb and this larger line here is what goes to the brush cutter. And so the smaller line for the thumb is controlled by the right thumb button on the joystick in the cab. This larger one is controlled by the left thumb. So the larger line has a special valve. And if you only have one line on your Kubota, you should also have this special valve. And the special valve is here on the side, the top of the valve block looks like this. And you can turn it off or on. And what on does is it allows the flow when it returns from the spinning motor to go through here and down back into the drain port. Rather than going, when this is closed, the flow comes through here, up and over and into the thumb valve. Now the difference is, is when you have this on continuous flow mode, your attachment is only gonna work one direction, which with this brush cutter, I only want to spin one direction because that's the way the carbide teeth are set up for. And the flow will now come through here and back in to the main drain down here on the valve block rather than going and reversing through the entire set of valves so let me show you what kind of difference this makes okay so i'm going to set mine on i've already got it set to my uh, rotary attachment here and this is my left thumb switch and try to get both the thumb and the disc in the video at the same time but if I push this way, nothing happens. That's because the flow is just, you know, there, there's nothing, it, it's not connected there. The flow, because that valve is open, it's closed to the hose on top. Now if I turn it this way, you can see it spins. And you have to make sure that's spinning the correct direction, which in this case mine is. Then I also have a button underneath here. Press that, it's spinning without me touching anything. And you can slow it down that way. Now, for comparison, I'll go ahead and turn this valve. So now, flow is gonna go through this top hose, whereas before, that top hose was blocked off. So when I pushed that thumb switch to the right, it was trying to send fluid through here, but it wasn't allowed to because it was stopped up there. So now when you get in, put the lever down, turn the auxiliaries on. You can see this will spin the way it's supposed to and the opposite way. Which, again, with this brush cutter with these carbide teeth, I don't want it to spin that way. So when using a continuous flow attachment, you wanna make sure that this valve is open. And that way, it keeps hydraulic fluid that doesn't need to flow through this valve to just flow straight on through to the drain, which will help keep the system running cooler and things like that. But if I had to switch the hose directions on mine to make it spin the correct way, so uh, make sure you check that out and then uh, you can get on with your mulching. Thanks for watching.